Ooh, beautiful look over downtown Spokane right now. Bet there's a lot of folks running through the park, getting in shape for Bloomsday, getting their allergies really <laughs> ramped up. I hate to cast that negative on a, such a beautiful day, but it is the reality. Your forecast first for tonight, partly cloudy skies with an overnight low of 33 degrees. Tomorrow, a high temperature of 50, a little bit cooler than today with an increase in clouds. I'll show you why in just a moment. Our high today, 55, 53 is our average high. No precipitation out at the airport. Our sunset, we've got a while, 7 14. It's 53 and mostly cloudy in Spokane right now. Plenty of sun uh, peeking through those clouds. A bit of a breeze out of the west at 17 miles per hour. It is 53 with sunshine in Coeur d'Alene and winds out of the west at 15. Wildlife Wednesday time. I missed a couple of Wednesdays, so I have a backlog of critters. Uh, but here's a sign of spring. A gorgeous Robin Marilyn Hassler says she's seeing a lot of them uh, around her chain lakes play. Some of them over winter. Some of them come back after a journey to the south. Uh, Jerry Rouse spotted this Merlin Falcon west of Ferris High School up on Spokane South Hill today. Uh, no doubt helping to keep down the mouse population up there on the South Hill. And finally from Bill Stickler from Spokane Valley, his resident songbird who spends the winter under his deck likes to come out and have a midday bath in the water bowl that Bill lives out for area critters. Westerly, northwesterly flow over the regions brought the clouds in, it's keeping our temperatures from soaring. A ridge of high pressure is off to our west. We also have this system approaching. I'm going to hold my hand right here, and you can see it is not moving very fast over the next 24 hours, but it will begin bringing an increase in clouds tomorrow and the chance of some showers to the well to the north along the Canadian border. Here's our 24 hour forecast. Clouds increasing, becoming increasingly more opaque uh, through the day tomorrow. Here's seven o'clock tomorrow, fair amount of clouds, but most of the moisture staying over the Cascades. And we start to see just a few rain or snow showers up along the Canadian border. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna be staying dry through Thursday and into Friday over most of the region. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 20s and 30s to right around 40 in Lewiston. High tomorrow's in the 40s, 50s, 60 degrees in Moses Lake. Here is your seven day forecast. And I would like to point out uh, that as I mentioned, there's a lot of uncertainty about the Easter weekend forecast. And sure enough, it has been different each day this week, just a little bit <laughs> different. And uh, today, here's my, here's today's guess. No, here's today's, what? it's not, it's a little more no, than a guess. Yes, of course. But no, I've been quite honest about the <laughs> computer models not quite uh, agreeing on what is going to happen this weekend. Uh, but it's looking more and more like most of the weekend will be dry and maybe a little bit warmer yeah. than I thought at the beginning of the week. Uh, so hmm. stay tuned for updates, though. Yeah, that can still change, can't it? We're still several days yes, out. Yes, so. I'm feeling more confident about the, the temperatures, less okay. confident about whether or not we're going to see a shower or two. So we can deal with a shower Check back too. with me tomorrow. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Chris.